Consider the following diagram of a traditional DC to DC buck boost converter. These equations are used to compute the duty ratio, inductance and capacitor values in traditional buck boost converter. Because the input voltage is constant in traditional designs and the rated power and desired output voltage are usually known, we can readily compute the values of load resistance, load current and duty ratio by plugging input and output voltage values into these equations. As a result, inductor and capacitor values may be easily computed in a traditional circuit. Now consider a photovoltaic system in which the PV array is connected to a buck boost converter. Because the value of array power and voltage vary from 0 watt to maximum power and 0 volt to open circuit voltage, the value of buck boost converter's input voltage is not fixed or constant in a PV system. As a result, output voltage or V node is also not constant and the value of duty ratio fluctuates. Furthermore, due to the variable supply of power from the PV array, the value of load resistance and load current cannot be determined even if the duty ratio is known. As a result, traditional buck boost converter equations cannot be utilized to design the parameters of a PV system. Although there is no standard procedure for designing buck boost converters for PV systems, engineers usually design DC to DC converters through trial and error. However, in this video, I'll show you how to quickly determine the best values of buck boost converter parameters for a PV system using a systematic method. So pay close attention to this video and follow all of the instructions. The first step in designing a buck boost converter is to assess the PV array specification under standard testing conditions that is 1000 watt per meter square and 25 degree centigrade as well as worst case conditions such as 50 watt per meter square and 25 degree centigrade. In the following discussion, I'll use the S subscript and green color to signify variables belonging to the standard testing conditions and W subscript in gray color to denote the variables belonging to the worst condition. The following values for standard testing conditions are used in this demo. Maximum power is 3600 watt. Maximum power voltage is 106.5 volt. And maximum power current is 33.8 ampere. Where S signifies the standard testing condition. These parameters can be obtained from the data sheet of a PV module and then scale to the size of the PV array. Using standard testing condition values, we can calculate corresponding values for worst case scenario. For example, 50 watt per meter square is 5% of 1000 watt per meter square. Hence, maximum power for worst case PMPW is 0 0.05 times 3600, which is equal to 180 watt. Because irradiance changes have little effect on the value of array voltage in principle, the maximum power voltage in the first case, VMPW, will be in the 90 to 110% range of VMPS. In this case, I'll assume that VMPW equals 0 0.9 times VMPS, which is 95.85 volt. By dividing PMPW by VMPW, the maximum power current for the worst scenario IMPW equals 1.88 Ampere. The second step is to define the buck boost converter's switching frequency, which is set at 25 kHz in this demo. Ripples in current and voltage are also specified. The voltage ripples for the converter's input and output voltages are designated by delta VI and delta V node respectively and are equivalent to 0.2% of the input and output voltages. Delta IL is the ripple in the inductor's current waveform 
and is chosen as 4% of the inductor average current IL, which can be calculated using this equation. The third step is to determine the PV array's internal resistance at MPB, which is indicated as RMP and equals VMP by IMP. This number is determined for both standard testing condition and worst case scenario. With RMPS equaling 3.2 ohms and RMPW equaling 51 ohms respectively. We determine the value of load resistance R node in the fourth step, which is equal to 0.2 times RMPS plus 1.25 times RMPW. In our example, the value of R node is 64.4 ohms. The value of the duty ratio at MPP presented by DMP and given by 1 divided by sum of 1 and square root of RMP by R node is calculated in the fifth step. This number is also determined for both standard and worst case scenarios. DMPS equals 0.8177 and DMPW equals 0.5291. Calculate load voltage and current values at MPP in the sixth step. V node stands for load voltage and is calculated by using this equation. The load current is indicated by I node and is calculated by dividing V node by R node. These figures are derived for both standard and worst case scenario. V node S and I node S are minus 478 volt and minus 7.42 ampere respectively for standard testing condition and V node W and I node W are minus 107.7 volt and minus 1.67 ampere respectively for worst condition. The values of inductor current, ripple voltages and ripple current are determined in the seventh step as follows. ILS is 40.7 ampere delta v i w is 0.1917 volt delta v node w is 0.2154 volt i l w is 3.55 ampere and delta i l w is 1.42 ampere in the final and eighth step the following equations are used to compute the values of input capacitor inductor and output capacitors of the buck boost converter. Keep in mind that these are the buck boost converters modified equations which were developed by trial and error. These formula have no mathematical foundation and just provide you with the estimated optimum parameter values. These equations yield input capacitor, inductor and output capacitor values of 868 microfarad, 1.23 millihenry and 141 microfarad respectively. These figures can be rounded to make them more practical. So the buck boost converter's final design parameters are Input capacitor is 1000 microfarad Inductor is 1.3 millihenry Output capacitor is 150 microfarad Load resistance R node is 64.4 ohms and switching frequency is 25 kilohertz. The bug boost converter design is now complete and we will go to simulation to see if the design parameters produce the desired results or not. I am going to utilize the PCM software for this and I have generated a 3 cross 4 PV array with the identical specifications that we used to design our bug boost converters parameters. On the screen the full specifications of each PV module and the overall array are displayed. The design values are entered into the appropriate buck boost converter component and shown next to each element. The duty ratio and PWM signals for the converter are generated by the C block and comparator respectively. The MPPT P and O method has been used inside the C block to track the highest power point. The step size of the P and O algorithm has been set to 0 0.1. 
Previous videos which have links in the description have previously covered the detailed design technique for PV arrays and P and O code in PSIM software. The switching frequency of the triangular wave voltage source has been set to 25 kHz. The simulation total time is set to 0.1 seconds with a time step of 4 microseconds in the simulation control. Now it's time to put the simulation to the test. The array power, array voltage, load voltage and array current curves are shown here. Array power is depicted in pink, array voltage is depicted in red, load voltage is shown in blue and array current is shown in orange. As you can see the array power is 3600 watt which is the PV array's maximum power. At this point the voltage and current are 106 volt and 33.9 ampere respectively. This indicates that our MPP has been successfully tracked. Furthermore, the waveforms show a significant reduction in ripples, which indicates that our design values are correct. These waveforms were obtained at standard testing conditions, that is 1000 watt per meter square and 25 degrees Celsius. Under lower irradiation values, for example 300 watt per meter square, the performance of the design converter can also be tested. As can be seen in the graphs, maximum power which is 1094 watt at 107 volt is already being tracked and waveforms have very few ripples even at lower irradiation values. These results verify that our design parameters are optimum and give low value ripples in output waveforms. This was a guide to designing a bug boost converter for a PV system. Please ask any questions you may have in the comments area. Please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.